Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, so let me reacting to Don't Be Ridiculous, Pierce Morgan Unleashed on Andrew Tate. Guys, if you are an Andrew Tate fan or a Pierce Morgan fan, you know that they had an interview yesterday. I don't really know I'm going to post this video, so yesterday's sound. I'll try my best to post it as soon as possible. So guys, let's get straight into this. So here's my question. Are you, are you a fantasist? I'm not a fantasist. Uh, do you have a persona that's just not you? Of course not. I am me. Well, if you are you, why would you repeatedly call yourself a pimp and then now say you've never been a pimp? I exaggerated on the internet nine years ago for comedic effect. I'd walk into a nightclub and there'd be girls at my table, like every other man who walks into a nightclub, and I'd say, pimp it. Oh no, put me in jail. 93 days was not enough with the cockroaches. I should go back. This is a matrix attack, Pierce. Every single person, every single man out there has done things worse than I've done. In fact, I will argue, if you put 99.9% .9 of men through the level of scrutiny I've been through by, by multiple federal agencies, you will find a lot worse than him saying he was a pimp on the internet nine years ago. You will find actual genuine crime. And I've done nothing. I live true to God. This is all garbage and it's not real. I want to be clear to you, I'm not preempting your guilt. I've come here with a completely open mind. You've been charged with serious offences, but I am not going to judge you because I'm not a judge and this is not a courtroom, right? But it's interesting to me that one of the biggest charges against you is that you're a misogynist. And you've always said, I'm not a misogynist. And then the last time I interviewed you, you said, well, I may have said some things that you know, may have been misconstrued. But even in the last week, you've tweeted some stuff which... I'm not even sure if you're aware as you tweet this stuff, how it sounds. Read it. Okay, let's read. This is quite a long one. Sure. But I think it's important to read it to get a sense of how you view women. Absolutely. Any woman I date does not have a job. Um, okay, so the woman you're with doesn't have a job. No. Okay. Do you date other women? Sometimes. And your partner's fine with that? Obviously. Yeah? And you, you're fine with that? Why wouldn't I be? Well, you think it's fine to be dating other women when you're... When you have a I think we're kids. consenting adults and everybody can make their own personal decisions. Okay, fair enough. Why would I be working so hard, you say, to have hundreds of millions for my woman to waste her life in slaved pennies? No, I will give you a life you can never ever afford. Private jets, five-star hotels, new cars, endless spending money and diamonds. You'll be rich because you're praying for me every day and protecting my spirit. I work in the physical world, she works in the spirit realm. Women shouldn't have to work because being a good partner is a full-time job for a woman. She has to look good. All the beauty treatments are time intensive. Not about money, it takes a lot of time. She has to train every day and stay in fantastic shape. Shop to look amazing next to me. I know there are some men who do a hundred times more than this on a daily basis, but women are not as organized as men and achieving anything significant causes them huge amounts of stress. Yeah. They need to have huge sections of their day empty to waste or they will have a mental breakdown. True. And do you want a woman who's stressed and angry after the commute, unshaven and exhausted? Or do you want a Barbie doll who's always smiling and saying thank you because she did her nails and brought you Prada that day? As a man, unless you're a loser, you're already filthy rich, right? You can get endless sex anyway. Girls are easy. So what can a girl give you? Happiness, vibes, always smiling. Take the edge of a stressful life. Can she always be happy if she's been working all day? No. Just to wake up at 11, gym till 1, one appointment and some shopping. Dress beautiful by 7pm for you to finish working and tell you how strong you are. No matter how pissed off you are, just to always be laughing and smiling and writing you little notes about how you're perfect. And just to be playful and funny. She can't do that if she has a job. So your job is being my girlfriend and now you're a millionaire. Congratulations. Behave and aim for the promotion to wife. The reason I read all that in detail was... I don't think you understand quite how that comes over because I think that is the purest definition of misogyny I've probably ever read. Well, I don't think you understand. One, especially when I'm talking about the fact that women can't handle what men can do, etc. One, it's slightly sarcastic. There's a sarcastic tone. So do you mean any of this? No, I mean it. Well, what would, which but it's slightly sarcastic. Well, sarcasm, means, comedic effect. sarcasm means you don't mean it. No, I mean it. But it's slightly well, sarcastic. We either mean it or you don't. It's either sarcastic or it's not. I think a man should provide for a woman financially, completely and utterly. If she wants to work, if my partner were to say to me right now, I really feel like getting a job, it would make me happy. Then I'll say work. But she doesn't have to. Her job is looking after the children, looking after me, and being as happy as possible. If you think I'm a bad person for saying, if you actually read that, read mm. the subtext and context. Yeah. I read it all up. Okay, good. Then you'll understand. Guys, pardon for listening to but like, if you understand what he was saying, not taking it word for word, because if you take word for word, it's somehow, per se, it's more like he's trying to relate to women. I will use that word. But if you understand the content, like when, if you read it as a whole, 
like more like you're reading it and you take him what to do from it you understand that he's just trying to like he's just trying to tell you to like take care of a woman but he's putting it in some way that is a little bit funny but like if you understand what he was saying like you you see the fact that you see that he's trying you can take it in the sense that he's trying to like believe to women but you can still take it in the sense that he's trying to make women feel like yo you're supposed to be taken care of you get that kind of vibe so I know that is what I saw in this message, but there's also a twist to it, so, but, like, me making this video, I actually saw an agitated post online, and he was like, you don't have to do something because you want to do it, you have to do it because you have to do it. A lazy man, you can be lazy or be disciplined, like, I just stood up from the bed and set my stuff, I'm here. <laughs> but guys, let's get back into this. I'm saying you know is, I did. You heard it. Absolutely. So what I'm saying is, I am a man. My life is stressful. My life is pain. I go to jail. I suffer. I have to deal with making money. I have constant, endless headache. I do all of that so I can give you everything, but then I get to have you. Your job is to be happy. I want you to smile. I want you to look your best and feel your best all of the time. If I'm I a misogynist for saying that I go through so much pain so that we can be financially secure, so I hope the woman I care about does not have to work a job, if that makes me a bad person, then so be it. Because all I'm saying is I want to take care of her in every single realm. I take care of her physical safety. I take care of her financial security. That is my job as a man. And if more men acted like me, you will see that the world would be a happier and better place. The women who say, I really want to work, I want a career, that's their prerogative and their decision. They're allowed to do that. But also, often the reason they do that is because they can't find a man they trust to take care of them. No. I've had this. I've had this from women in their own Andrew, mouth. If I found a man who was said, financially secure and as smart as you, I wouldn't be doing this fine. garbage job either. Why was I psyoped into working to pay taxes when I should be at home having children oh, with a man Andrew, I adore? Andrew, it's a psyop. Andrew, there are so many women that will listen to that and be laughing and mocking you. Will say, there? Say, don't be so ridiculous. I would have a job that I love. Maybe they're being paid even more than their man, right? The, the real world isn't the one that you categorize. The real world is varied and nuanced, mm. but I am talking about my life experience. There's and a very... my experience, any woman I love Fine. does not have to work unless she decides to. Right. You're the boss. You're in charge. Her job is to make you happy. Her job is to make herself look good. Her job is to work out for your benefit. Blah, 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 blah. It is actually just misogyny. Do you think a woman looking and it's good... Also... Do you think a woman looking good and working out is, has no benefit at all to her? Of course it does. Okay, so it's not for my benefit, then, is it? You no, but you see, but when you, no, but when you talk you about when you talk about young, no, no, I don't. When you talk about young men and you tell them to work out and take care of themselves, I cheer you on, right? I want that. I've got three sons. I want them to feel that. Way. Don't get, you want them to become very rich and successful and have course. a woman who relies on them and have of a beautiful course. family? No, but I don't want a woman who's subservient to them. Why is subservience? Why is a literally woman the tone of the tweet I read is subservience? You did another tweet this week. Men love by telling you what to do and not allowing you to make stupid decisions. We save you from the female inclination to make stupid choices. If a man isn't giving you instructions, he doesn't love you. If you won't listen to a man's instructions, you don't love him. The whole language is so ridiculous. Let me change the language then. A well, you tweeted this to 8.2 8. million people. Correct. So let me say this. A father loves. Let's say instead of a man loves, say a mm. father loves. A father loves disciplinarian. That's how a father will love you. A mother will say, oh, I hope you're happy. Hope you're doing okay. But, but a father will come along and say, no, don't do this. You must do it that way. That's incorrect. It has to be this mm. way. A father will discipline you because a father feels he knows best for you. It's the masculine mm. essence of love. When a man loves, he cares via degree. And there is a massive difference between a relationship between a father and a child and between a man and a woman in a relationship. Well, completely. And I'm not sure you quite get no, that. No, there is a difference. But I would argue, Piers, I would argue in the happiest relationships, it's a traditionally masculine role in which the man plays and provides. The female is traditionally feminine. The man is the head of the house. Not in an abusive way, doesn't beat her up. I'm talking about the man being the head of the household, like I would like to believe you're the head of your household. And he comes along and says what happens and what doesn't happen. Yeah, listen, it's all good macho stuff, okay? And I know lots of young boys who listen to this and go, wow, that's how I should be. Then I read the detail of your tweets, and again, come back to this, we save women from their female inclination to make stupid choices. Females are emotional. If a man isn't giving you instructions. Now, females are hang emotional. On, hang on, Peers. He doesn't females love you. Are, all females this stuff, are emotional. All this stuff is designed to, exactly as you've just articulated, is designed to make young men feel that the only way they can be successful in life is to effectively have their women 
under control, give them instructions that by they have, buying them that they have to obey. Oh, don't you but here, but here, don't buy me, women Prada, you'll end up in jail. You can buy them Prada, but let me let me finish my point. My point is that it seems to me, from reading your tweets, even now, that you have a blind spot when it comes to how they sound. I and it may no, be, and it may be that the legal problems that you're in, which might be extremely serious, and we'll see when the trial happens, but it may be that in your head, nothing you've done is remotely inappropriate because actually in your tweets you can see there's an element there of wanting coercion and control. You want to control women, you want them to be effectively your servants, slaves for want of a better slaves, phrase. Slaves who get Prada and get to work out in the gym and get to look good but while, you understand, while, I, while do you understand, I do actual But do you understand work? the point I'm making? No, I don't. Because Which is in your is. head, the line is blurred so much now with this macho rhetoric that you've actually lost track of how this sounds. Here's all of the things I Even when I read that stuff to you, I could see you looking at me and you said, your answer is, I was being sarcastic. No. And I said, well, where? And then you go, well, no, I meant it. Well, it can't be both. I meant it and I said you either it's mean sarcastic it. tone You either mean it effect. or it's, well, no, because sarcasm means you don't mean it. Pierce, all the things you've just described. Do, do you accept that? No, I, You're a I smart meant... guy. You know what sarcasm means, Absolutely. Right? Guys, to be honest, what do you think about this? Like, what do you think about this? But for me, like, I will say, I understand the fact where um, Andrew Tate said women are emotional. Yes, I, was, I understand that fact totally. Because there are sometimes my sister run into, like, when she's there, like, maybe she's emotional and she comes for back up. <laughs> she used to ask me, man, like, what do you think I would do? Like, I won't say man, but like, she, she needs to ask somebody that is. Uh, I would say women are emotional, to be honest. Women are very emotional. And I believe men actually think with logic. That was like, they say, like, a man can have sex with her and it does not mean anything. But when a woman has sex with you, like, her face is attached. Her sex is extremely hungry. But, like, most times, like, for a woman to cheat on her boyfriend or husband, it's because, like, she has lost feelings for them. But a man can do it and still be madly in love with him. Yeah, that's the difference. And I, I would keep on saying that men and women are different. And I, I believe men are different than women. Please don't don't get me wrong. But like, I understand where PS one guy is coming from because Andrew does not like he's not seeing the fact that he sounds uh, like that that tick is there, but I, I feel there's a little misunderstanding between the both of them. Because like I feel PS one guy is not understanding from Andrew Tate's point. Andrew Tate is not telling, trying to say that you control the women. Like he's he said it, but he didn't say it. Like that's the fucked up thing about it. Because if you understood what he wrote, like you understand that it, it falls down, it's in the middle, like it's 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 fucked up. Like this tweet is fucked up. But guys, anyway, think about this video. Just to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.